Which you guys got another video here for you. Change these settings to maximize your laptop's battery life. That's what we're taking a look at today. Now, laptop's battery uh, degrades over time and loses capacity, resulting in less uptime when you use your laptop. Now, if you need to use the battery on a regular basis, it's always advisable to try and use these settings to conserve the battery life. So first off, let's go to the start button and then go to settings and then go to power and battery. Inside here, you're going to see some options available to you, which you can change to try to extend your battery life. So power mode, you can see here, we have a different bunch of power modes. This one is set to best power efficiency, but you have balanced here. And we also have another one, which is best performance. You should only be using the best performance if you are on a AC adapter connecting, uh, connection to the actual laptop. So if you want the best uh, power efficiency, then use that uh, option right here. Next, once we've got this option done, we can go ahead and change a bunch of different settings to improve uh, your battery life. So you can see here, 47 minutes is what I've got left on this laptop. And once it recalibrates and uh, gets the settings right, you'll see we've already gone up to one hour and eight minutes. And that's by just changing that one little setting there. But you can change a bunch of other ones like battery saver right here. So once you go into your battery saver, there is some options here like turn on now. I've already got mine on, uh, but you can see when you turn this on, this is going to give you the battery saver mode. And then you've got turn battery saver on automatically at, and I've got it set to 20% because I'm running on battery right now. So if you're one of those people that need to use your laptop on a battery, then you need to change these settings to give you the best possible chance of using that laptop for long periods rather than having it for a short period on very high settings. 20% is not always the best option available if you're outside and things like that because it will reduce the, the brightness on the laptop. So choose what setting suits you best. You can see lower screen brightness when using the battery saver and that is turned on as well. Next, we're gonna to go to the system and display settings here. And this is where your slider for your brightness is. You can adjust this to your liking. And obviously the more brighter it is, the more battery use it's gonna use. So you can see here, change brightness automatically when lighting uh, changes. And you can have that option available uh, to you as well by toggling that on. And you can see change brightness based on content. I've always got that on always. And when we come down here, you could put the night light on if you want to, to protect your eyes, if you've got blue light on there. But there's also some other options here, like your refresh rate. If you've got a high refresh rate on your monitor and you're trying to preserve battery life, then obviously turning this down a little bit will help preserve that. You can see we've got it 120 hertz, which means that is going to use a lot of power. So we could just drop this down to 60 hertz while we're using the laptop on battery power. You can always change this back when you need to uh, use it on power mode if you wanted to play a game or something like that. But if you're on battery mode and you want to preserve it, then turn that down to 60 hertz and that will reduce the amount of power draw that is being used on that laptop. Let's move on to some other options that you can do. Back in power and battery here, there's some other options here which we can uh, choose to do. So let's go ahead and do those. And then we can take a look at the end and see what sort of other options you've got available. So we've got turn on the screen when I leave. I'm going to put that on. And then we also have wake up my device when I approach. You can turn these on or off. Now, these are all to do with your power usage. So changing these will really help reduce the amount of power that is being used. And you can see there's a bunch of them that I've just marked out here. And you can adjust this to your liking. So make sure the lower the number means the less power is going to be used after that period of time to help you preserve that precious battery life. So you can see here on battery power, put my device in sleep mode after three minutes. You could change that to something lower or even leave it at three minutes. If you wanted it lower, you could do and it just depends on your needs. So when you plug in and put my device to sleep after so many minutes, you can have it shut down and that's always advisable as well if you're trying to preserve battery life so take your time and set these up to the way you like it and this will help preserve that precious battery life that you need if you are forced to use battery 
on your laptop for long periods of time, this will help reduce the amount of battery draw that is being used. So let's go ahead and change a few of these and you can choose these uh, for your own liking. So basically change them to your own settings that you like. But obviously the lower the number will be more efficient. And you can see we've already gone up to two hours and one minute now. So we're extending the, the amount of battery life. Now you may also have this uh, energy recommendations chart here, which you can just highlight and just check mark and apply these. And what this is going to do is basically help you preserve battery life. You can see turn off my screen after three minutes and put my device to sleep after three minutes. I've applied all these now and you can see it's given me a full uh, green leaf here, which gives me full energy for this particular laptop. So obviously this is not going to be suitable for people that are trying to do graphical work and things like that uh, because it is going to reduce the brightness and other things on your laptop. Next thing you want to try is to reduce the startup apps that are running in the background. These can use a lot of system resources and also drain power. So turn off anything on the startup that you don't need that is very power hungry. You can see here some of these have a higher impact on the system. So you can see G-Hub here and there's a bunch of other ones on here. You may have loads more on yours, but just go through these with a fine tooth comb and basically weed out some of the high impact ones that are going to be using a lot of power and basically uh, zapping that precious power that you're trying to preserve on your laptop. So toggle off all the ones that you don't need. Next, we're going to be taking a look at your HDR. If you have HDR available to you on your monitor, then you can go inside here and you can adjust these settings. Inside here, you can see that it says right down here, there'll be battery options. And here it says now optimize for battery life. And that's because I've got it set to that. If you've got this set to a different option like improve image quality, and you're running on battery power, this is going to really zap your battery power on your laptop. So if you're running on power, you can change this to image quality. But if you're on battery power, you definitely want to be using that option right there. Also on video playback, you'll see some other battery options available. Optimize for battery life. This is if you're using your battery more than you use your power outlet. So you definitely want to have that to optimize for battery life and just set that on there as well. Next up, we've got another one here. So let's go back into our system panel here inside settings. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna navigate down to display here, and we're gonna go and check out our graphics settings here. So let's go ahead and go down to our two graphics options, which are down at the bottom here, advanced display and also graphics. So let's go in graphics first, and you'll see here up the top here, there's change default graphic settings right here. And there's a couple of little rocker buttons here uh, that you can toggle on to get better performance. But we're going to be talking about preserving battery. So let's go back one little uh, slider here and then go down to where it says uh, change the graphic settings for these apps that we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Go back and down here, you should see a bunch of apps or games that you're going to be using on this system. Now, if you click on any of these, for instance, film and TV or Microsoft Store or video editor and go to options, you can now see graphic preference. And now you can see here we have a power saving option. So if you're using these programs quite regularly while you're on battery power, you want to put this onto power saving mode. And this will use the onboard GPU instead of the dedicated GPU here, which is on the high performance setting because this laptop has an NVIDIA uh, GeForce RTX 4080 on it. And if you start using that inbuilt uh, GPU uh, on this system, it is going to draw a lot more power than the built-in uh, onboard GPU, which is on the chip itself. So use the power saving mode for some of the more uh, graphic intensive uh, apps that you're going to be using when you're on battery power only. If you're on mains power and you want to use these, on uh, mains power you can use these with your onboard graphics settings and you can change these in the my asus uh, app which is built into this laptop or whatever laptop you've got they'll have an app that you can go in there and change some of the graphic settings in there to obviously opt for the onboard graphics rather than the dedicated graphics if your laptop has dedicated graphics next you want to make sure the privacy and security settings under search windows make sure you've got this one right here 
respect power settings uh, when indexing make sure that you turn that on and this will also make sure that it's not going to be using a lot of uh, power when you're using the uh, search index on the computer itself now i've got a couple of more things that we can check which is your browser so if you're using the internet or the browser you definitely want to change the power settings on your browser because if you don't it's going to also draw power and browsers can draw quite a bit of power when you're using them so we'll start off with edge first open up your edge browser here once you've opened up edge we want to go into the settings panel here so go to the settings panel and once you get inside here we want to go down to where it says system and performance click on this one right here and you'll see it's set to balanced savings but if you want to maximize those savings you can go to maximize savings here and this will change some of those settings for you but you can read all the information here and choose which option suits you so if you're forced to use battery power and you are forced to use the browser quite a bit while you're on battery power you definitely want to optimize your performance here because this will preserve your battery life and you want to toggle that on and choose which one suits you so if you're using your browser quite a bit and you're on battery power definitely maximize those savings to preserve any sort of uh, battery power so you can see most uh, browsers will have this uh, the google chrome here also has this right here where it says energy saver and it also has the memory saver here where you can maximize memory and you can also do a bunch of other settings here so if you use all my settings on uh, your laptop like this and you use your battery power quite a lot this will help preserve a lot of that precious battery power for you and you'll be able to have a lot longer on the laptop on battery power uh, than if you leave it as default it will start to eat that battery power very very quickly and of course as the battery uh, gets older and degrades it will use more battery power over the time so just make sure you use these settings and this should help preserve a lot of that for you anyway i hope this video has been some sort of use to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk quick shout out to all my youtube members i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the very next video bye for now <music>